All right, guys, welcome back to part 14. Cheers of the Kingdom. Last we left off, we uh, finally made it to Gerudo Town. Uh, and the map didn't lie. This place is in shambles here. Um, there's also Gibdos now. They're something. They're like, here, I'll just show you all. Because, like, they, they're, like, very slow, but you can't really kill them. I mean, you can, but there's not really much of a point in doing it. Like, this is as fast as they go. They're kind of weak to arrows, so, like, shooting them in the head works, but... Anyways, besides that, um... We got into the shelter below Gerudo Town. That's where that hole in the stairs is. And we also activated a couple of, like, lighthouses over this way. I don't know. That seems like... I, we couldn't do anything there in the last video, so I assume that's all for the main quest for the Gerudo Desert here, so. Um, I guess we'll go over here, talk to Riju, meet up with all of them, and I suppose we'll, we'll see about um, progressing the story a little bit. I, man, I hate this, uh, th this kind of like fog they got here it, for the desert. I mean, the sandstorm. It, it, it's cool, but man, it kind of ruins a lot of what I liked about the desert is just how it's just like hills, sand hills for miles, you know? All right, anyways. Let us see. Oh, she got the scimitar, huh? Wait, if she's the one calling down the lightning, why does she like freak out? Did you see that when we came by? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Missed again. Can't hit my mark. Won't do anyone any good. <laughs> it is I. It's you. This changes things. I didn't expect to see you here. Indeed. Will I be able to get the Thunder Helm again, though? Maybe. Probably mm. not. You always show up in unusual times. All right. Instead, it looks like we might be able to get the ability to call okay. down lightning, perhaps. That would be pretty cool. So Hyrule Castle rose up into the sky. Zelda vanished right in front of you. And now you've come here looking for clues. Hmm. I understand how you're feeling. Zelda is a dear friend to me as well. I'll do everything in my power to help you. But to do that, I need to bring a quick resolution to a problem we Gerudo are facing. I'm sure you've noticed that the desert is even more difficult to cross than usual. Indeed I have. That's thanks to this unusual sand shroud. It appeared around the same time the events at Hyrule Castle took place. Hmm is blanketed the whole desert, including our town. Not long after that, swarms of monsters we'd never seen before began attacking. We're calling them Gibdos. Physical attacks don't work well against them. They're slow, but they still make investigating the sand shroud difficult. Yeah, not really. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. I don't think they make it that much more difficult. Come on now. If I can aim the lightning well, I think it might be an effective weapon against the Gibdos. So they're weak to elemental damage. Okay. That's that's good to know. This technique is unrefined. I only recently discovered it and still need more practice. I want to master this power so I can use it to defeat the Gibdos. If I can do that, we can investigate the source of this sand shroud and search for Zelda as well. Okay. I think I can use your arrows to help me aim my lightning strikes. Bruh. How was that gonna help? Oh my god. That do it? Maybe? Oh, okay. I guess I did it too soon. Oh no, it's gotta be in the radius here. I see. And for those dummies over there, maybe we can hit them all with a single strike. Don't try to hit a specific dummy. Instead, aim for an area in the middle of all three. Uh, farther away the target is, the longer it will take me to build up the energy to hit it. Okay. okay. Damn, she was not lying. It does take a minute. Oh. 
Well, shit. Come on now. Why is the gyro trying to fight me? That's so weird. Like it was pulling to the left when I was trying to aim right. That's annoying. And how the hell are my arrows helping you? <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Oh? Ah, uh, there's that yellow mist again. Huh? What was that indeed? It doesn't sound like any noise the sand shroud has made, that's for sure. Huh. What? We received word that a swarm of Gibdos are attacking the bazaar. Hmm. Uh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I gotta just fast travel there. Right? I think so. I'll just fast travel there. Apparently, we missed the chest in this shot. Oh, well. That's interesting, though. I, that's the one thing I didn't try to attack these guys with was uh, elemental damage. But that makes sense now that I think about it. Because, like, they aren't they are weak to anything else, right? So... Alright. God, I hate how they're like neck flaps. They got neck flaps, dude. That's so disgusting. Ew. Their designs are so nasty, dude. Oh, yeah, that just one shots them. All right. Okay. Well, I need to, like, put on a bow. Let's see. I'll use this. Oh, she has a health bar. Okay. Uh, whoop. Interesting. So she isn't going to be like... Um, what's his face? Tulin, I guess, where Tulin didn't really have a health bar. It didn't really matter what happened to him. And also, how's this not just like smoking the Gerudo around here, you know? Is that it? They're only coming from this side? All right. Good deal. Hello. Can I talk to you? <laughs> Sure. Uh, no point picking up their. Oh, they this thing just spawns them. Okay, can I like? Yeah, there we go. That was gross. It just like kind of shat them out. Disgusting. Um, what was that saying? I don't know. Probably wasn't important. I wish the rib cages were like more than just one time use, but I mean, plus 40 power is a little good. Bulyara, well done holding the line until we were able to get here. Now that we know the Gibdos are susceptible to lightning, this gives us a major advantage. Huh. <sighs> hey, yo. What now? Ah. Is that Zelda? Why is she acting all mysterious for, bro? If you got something to say, say it to me. Oh my god. And there's a shrine. Bro, she just gonna summon like a bunch of tornadoes on us? Real bad. Dude. Gerudo Town is in danger. Or not. Zelda, wait! She acted all mysterious for no reason. Bro. She was heading directly toward those tornadoes. And if more Gibdos are hiding in the storm. Uliara, we need to get back now. <laughs> Link, we're going on ahead. I'll meet you in town. Yeah, okay. Well, 
Well, back over to Gerudo Town, I guess. <laughs> All right. Hmm. That reminds me, right, right before I hit the record button, I spotted a shrine over to the, um, kind of like directly north of this location. I forgot the market. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. Do that, do that. Ah, where, where's he at? Was it north? Where was it? There it is. Okay. So where are we going? We're just dropping down here. Yep. There's a Gibdo hive, just like the one that appeared near Karakara Bazaar. Both the hive and those tornadoes were reported to have shown up at the same time. But it's not only one, the one hive, there are three to deal with, each just outside the town gates. I don't need a clairvoyant sand seal to know a massive Gibdo attack is coming. Oh. Right now, those hives are durable and nearly impervious to attack. But when they open and begin releasing Gibdos, they're vulnerable. Gibdos won't wait outside our walls forever, so when they launch their attack, that's our chance to strike. Okay. Uh. Come. Come. To where I am. Okay. Uh. Hmm? Uh. Oh, she can't hear that shit. Okay, it's just <laughs> us then. We should focus on protecting Gerudo Town from the enemies. We must prepare for battle. I. Are there still Gibdos in here? Probably not, right? I assume they, like, you know, off screen, she took care of them. Seems like it. So what about this? I still never figured out how to get in here. Oh. Make sure the entrance was securely blocked Perda. <laughs> no. So Perda's name was in red. I guess we got to meet a Perda. In the the shelter, it's locked with a crate. I don't know. I don't know. Very strange. And why are they not like in the shelter? It's peculiar. I'll have to do a, a whole bunch of stuff uh, down here for like the jail and all sorts of different stuff. Can I just like open this now? Can you let me in? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Dope. Ah, wait, how does that work? Oh, they use water. That's actually a pretty neat little mechanism for that. Okay. All right, where, where to though? Know? Where are we going? Oh, was she not in the, okay. I thought she went in the shelter. No, 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 no. Okay. Nah, she just went up here to her uh, throne. This is not a very convenient spot to have your shelter, by the way, just like in the middle of a staircase. Oh my goodness. All right. Now what? Hmm. The sand shroud, the sudden appearance of the Gibdos and their hives. Strange events keep happening one after another. We saw Zelda near the bazaar, but she hasn't been in, been seen anywhere around Gerudo Town. Hmm. There's something bigger going on, but for now we need to focus on the problem at hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Help us organize our defenses? Oh, oh yeah. What's the plan? You tell me the plan. You're the trained one here. Oh. Looking for Oh god, I gotta play tower defense. <laughs> oh. Peta Peta is in the courtyard. She's in charge of the materials we have on hand. Yo, this is oh. actually tower defense. Oh. Okay, so the Gibdo are weak to uh, elemental damage then. Oh, jeez. Uh, we could spread them out to lightly cover all the gates, or maybe concentrate a force to protect a oh. weakened position. We decide who to send where. I'd like to hear your thoughts. What about the spirit oh. troops? I'll have to um take a gander. So they got they got elemental weapons. What about you guys? 
Yep, they got elemental weapons. And what about you guys? What? What's all the troops? The cannoneer. The cannoneer can hold the front gate, I think. I'm pretty sure that's how we should rock this, right? It's like the the cannon will cover the front gate because it's like the most open area. It's going to be where most of them come through. And then the western gates are like, oh, they're more like choke points, right? So spears and other units should be fun there. Oh, yeah, they're getting ready to pull up, huh? Okay, well, let me go talk to the materials person, I guess, and then we'll we'll try that plan out. And if it don't, then luckily this is a game we can turn back top. <laughs> All right, uh, what you got over there? A bunch of different stuff here. I've been gathering materials that I think might be useful in battle. Feel free to take anything you need. I'll, also, I'm confident that I could build a barricade at any of the gates. Okay. I will take all of these materials. They're mine. Mirror. Flame emitter. What what does that say about the mirror? Ward off some monsters. I, I assume that includes the Gibdos. Okay. If that wards them off, then that means I don't even have to worry about like one side of the gate, huh? Damn, they were not kidding. There's like shitload of stuff here hey yo is this all money all right cool instant profit i guess dope i'll take it uh is there anything else what's this really let me get a better weapon. Nice. You store one arrow in that crate. Excellent. All right. Um, so a barricade. I really want to just put the cannon unit like right in the front. Because like it's such a huge open area, right? Well, no, that actually makes less sense because... You want them to kind of funnel through one place, right? Let me check out the uh, eastern gate here. Let's just see. Where are we working with with the eastern gate? And where are they going to be posted up? Are they going to be like right outside? There's two choke points here. I mean, I could funnel them through just one area, I guess. Um, okay, what about over here? I never really got a good look at what this gate looks like. No, th this, this is the place for the cannon. So the Western gate will put the cannon, the front will put the spear unit, and then the, well, the Eastern Gate will put the spear unit. Okay. Spear Whoa. unit, the Eastern Gate. Whoa. Yep. Whoa. Okay. The Cannoneer Whoa. will defend the Western Gate. Where does that put you? Ah. Uh. There? Oh, man, that's such an ugly spot. I was hoping that they would, like, uh, maybe put the... Well, okay, whoa. I could I could look at uh, all the different spots. What does Northgate look like? Whoa. It's a pretty good view. Whoa. Whoa. Mm. Whoa. Okay, we'll, put, we'll keep them on the front, uh. then, if they're going to be that far up. And then we'll put the swords at the western gate. Ah. Okay. And I guess we'll go talk to what's her face over here and talk about maybe building some barricades because the 
I think it's the Eastern Gate has like two different exits they can come through, which is not ideal. You know, I'm not trying to get flanked. Ooh. Let's talk oh. barricades. There are three gates from the palace. The North Gate is ahead, the West Gate is left, and the East Gate is right. Obviously, yeah. Got an idea for a barricade. I'll use iron barrels and wood to block the path. Which gate should I set up at? The Northern Gate. Because if they get through the northern gate, then that's that's not good. Because the cannon, you know, they're they're up top, Ooh. so they're not go really going to be able to get through. All right. Ooh. Oh. All right. I guess we're good to go here. I mean, that that should hold, right? All right. Um, let me go ahead and make myself like an elemental weapon myself here. Um, I guess I'll fuse. What, what do I have the most of? Topaz. Right. I'll fuse a topaz to... I guess I'll put it on the claymore, huh? Maybe I should. I don't want to put it on something that's going to, like, break pretty quickly, right? Let me, let me see what the description for this says. Take a material... Attaching a material greatly enhances the material's power, but doesn't add as much durability. Okay. Well, looks like we're fusing this. We don't need to block. You'll be aight. These guys are slow. All right, I'm ready to go. Oh. Nope. Oh. Shit. Hmm. Are the preparations complete? Indeed, they are. Well, black screen. Lol. Oh, here we go. Hmm. Curious about that voice we heard earlier, but yeah, yeah no time for chit chat. Oh God, what a, what a gross enemy, man. Ooh, I hate it. For anything else, we'll need to deal with this, yeah. Oh my lord, there's a bunch coming from the uh, the western gate. Yeah, couple on the eastern gate by George. Well, the first thing I need to do is stop him from spawning, so. Uh, fight well and we can wipe them out. Battle, in, in battle, Hobson, okay. I like this shitty little, little like wooden barricade they put over the uh, town there. Alright. I'm gonna go up here and see if I can't like instantly Enemies just snap down uh, <laughs> this thing here. Because it's gonna be a problem if they keep spawning here. Oh, that's durable, huh? <laughs> Okay. Oh, maybe this one first? Okay, we do gotta do them in order then. Bye bye. Yeah, th this is working wonders compared to like everything else I was using. Oh, and once they're hit by uh, elemental damage, they're like super weak, I see. Okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Enemies have been spotted inside town. Did they break through the gate? These actually, uh, these little troops do a lot more damage than I figured they might. Flying enemies from the hive at the north gate too. Don't let them overrun us. Flying? Oh my god. Yo, the cannoneer is kind of booty. How they getting by y'all over here? What, what's happening over here? Did the, the west gate just get like destroyed? Flying enemies no. from the west gate hive. Time for a lightning strike or two. All right, another hive down. All right. I guess just the north one is left. Well, I mean, I know the north one's always left, but like, 
I guess I don't have to worry about cleanup. Enemy, the enemies won't stop coming until we no. wipe out all the hides. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. That's the last of the hides. Okay. All we have to do now is clear out the rest of the gift Aye. Hey. No. Oh. Alright, well, this is different. It's weird, but it's different. I like it. Oh, God. I don't like the way these ones are like crawling around. Dude, that's gross. <laughs> Hello, Rodney the dick. Goodbye. Oh, God. They actually kind of got closer, huh? Um. Okay, there's a couple more coming this way. Oh god, that's so gross, dude. These enemies are so weird. Oh god. Uh okay, so they're the last one's over here. Well, I guess they can handle it. But. Just in case, I guess I'll come over here. Okay. Ew, dude. The give does just. This iteration of them is the weirdest. Oh? I'm incredibly grateful for your help. I suspect the Gibdo threat will calm down a bit now that we wiped out the hives that were surrounding the town. Mm. I noticed that the hives crumbled in the sand when we destroyed them. I wonder if the Gibdos have some sort of connection to the sand. Or maybe, maybe they're connected to the sand shroud. Did they make it? Did they summon them? <laughs> then there's the voice that you and I both heard. A voice and lightning. This reminds me of something. <laughs> there's something you should see. Come down to the mural in the underground shelter. Ah, that's what that giant mural is then, huh? The one that we couldn't like do anything with or read. All right. I wish you could see like an actual durability sound on these weapons. That would be so nice, like such a nice quality of life feature. Cause like, I want to really attach these, um, like something like this to this sword, which I know this one's like already pretty damaged, so I'm not going to, but, um, it'd be nice to see just how damaged it is. Maybe it's like negligible at, at worst, right? So, all right. Let us see. Look at the mural. I'm looking. Oh, okay. This is what we did in the last video with the, the lighthouses. It appears that when they created it, they were also using the shelter to hide. Perhaps the Gerudo of the distant past were also beset by some great disaster. Anyway, the writing on the mural says, standing back to back with the throne, witness red pillars across the vast sea. Unite the pillars in light to reveal the lightning stone and open the way. You who can hear my voice, come to me. I await you. Mm. The mysterious voice that spoke to us. Its words reminded me of this mural. Mm. This image must represent a location of some kind, and the engraved words are a riddle to discovering its location. And it ain't much of a riddle. I already solved it. <laughs> uh. You already solved the riddle and figured out where to go. Okay, so there is unique dialogue for that. Nope. Yep, I sure did solve it. <laughs> That's funny. I thought it was going to be like all weird and like it would be like, oh, well, let's go figure out what it is. And then we go over there and she's like, well done. You figured out what it was. And it's like, oh, did I? <laughs> but no. What? What do you mean? <laughs> I mean, I guess someone popping out of the ground would spook anybody. All right. It do be hot out here. Four minutes should be plenty. I wonder if I'll be able to keep all of the companions, man. It'd be cool to have like Tulin, uh, Riju, like all of them just like follow me around. <laughs> I won't, I won't even have to like do anything. It'd be pretty cool. So now that I know that these guys are weak to elemental damage, I can actually start to like raid these little shelters that they're 
they like live in. If they even have anything. Doesn't really look like it. Alright. Well, I'll get up here and then we'll just fly on across there. Oh, please. Thank you. Alright. I like how there's like a whole one hour segment right before you do the dungeon though, where you're just like trying to get over to it. I really hope this sand shroud disappears too once we actually complete this dungeon because man is it ugly like this area for it to just be a desert is so nice looking and then you just have this ugly like kind of green brown filter covering the entire thing it's just like ah so sad hey you got yeah i'm not gonna bother you oh you know what i didn't even have to put that topaz on there i could have put the um this ah, it's fine i put it on the claymore so i don't really want to have to hit them first to weaken them right for at least close up because I, I imagine as slow as they are and as easy as it is to avoid them they'll probably one shot me right hello did you see that i did and she's gone Brett. She better explain why she's acting all mysterious, bro. Peculiar behavior. All right. Mm. It cannot be a coincidence that we've seen someone who looked like Zelda twice, but a mystery for another time, I suppose. Mm. Disappeared when you solved the mural's riddle. Hmm. If I remember correctly, the mural said, unite the pillars in light to reveal the lighting stone and open the way. Oh. Maybe the lightning strike is the key. Okay. It is a conductor. Uh. Madoga? Question mark? No. Oh, wait. Is this the dungeon? From the trailer? I think it might be. Oh my god, it's huge! Hey, yo! Damn, okay, this is going to be the lengthy dungeon that I that I was looking for, I think. <laughs> oh my god, man. When Ridges are in charge, you can call on her for a lightning attack. You don't say. Oh, I see. Now it's just on command then. Holy shit, man. What an awkward time to come across the dungeon, though. I mean, I can't complete it in 20 minutes, I don't think. Well, I guess 30 minutes. I could go... You know what? No, maybe I could complete the dungeon in this video. I might. You know, I don't care to go a little bit over over time here. There's a shrine. Oh, I remarked it. All right. Well, mm, I should probably hit that shrine. Yeah, so we just go straight to the dungeon then. All right. Cool, cool. Weird, dude. Huh. All right. I'm going to make my way over to this shrine over here. To save some time, I'm going to make a quick cut. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm pretty much over here now. Uh, Riju kind of abandoned us. She's like, oh my god, I can't afford to leave this place. Oh. Oh, my heat resistance is ending. I actually got pretty messed up by Lizalfos back there. And I just ate a bunch of apples and stuff. And here we go. Now I got to... I should have just waited. Oh my goodness, I wasn't paying attention. You know what I could do instead of like building a contraption here? I could use a pine cone. And then I could use uh, Tulin's power to maybe fly across. I don't know. Let's see. All right. I think it's over this way. Can't really quite see too well. 
Ah, it's over there. Hmm. Uh, oh, 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 recall, recall, right. That shot, if that shot taught me one thing, it's that recall is key. Here we go. Yep, we're bringing this log with me. <laughs> neat, neat. Yeah, I thought that might just sink in the sand here. Um. Oh, 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 oh! Hey. That's not nice. I have volt fruit on me, don't I? Where's it at? I could use chew jelly too, I guess. We'll use shock fruit. Goodbye. Dude, they go down so easy once you uh do that to them. So then that didn't quite do it. I mean, I could start a fire. This isn't going to roll off the side, is it? Okay, no. Um, I don't have anything with lightning damage, so it looks like I'm going to have to just like make fire arrows here. Uh, what should I make it with? Can I, do these work? Sun true? No. <laughs> that, that looks funny as hell, but unfortunately, no. Okay. And we'll grab another one of these. Ow. It's probably an easier way to get up here, but that works. Irasak Shrine. Okay. Oh, okay. It's just a blessing shrine. Cool, 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 cool. What sort of blessing will we receive today? Another large charge. I mean, I guess I, I'm not going to turn them down. I need to explore more of the depths, actually. I've I've greatly uh, like disregarded the depths here. Um, I kind of explored it a little bit with when we was doing the Great Plateau side quest and with all the stuff of Koga, but there's like way way more than just that down there that i need to check out um ooh. i don't know maybe i'll do that once i be, uh, complete this dungeon here oh lord ah. you know tulin's power is like the perfect thing for uh this right here Where is he? Where'd he go? There he is. All right. Oh God. Oh God. Oh, Jesus, man. That really drained your stamina. My Lord. Okay. Well, I guess I'll make my way back to the uh, temple now. Yeah, I can't fast travel there. I forgot to get the fast travel, but I'll be back when I'm over there. Okay. Uh, where is Riju? Oh? Ah. So. All right. Okay. Let go. I guess I just have to hit this uh, with it, right? Oh no! Here we go. Ew. Give them off? But we're jumping straight into the boss? <laughs> Before we even do the dungeon? What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh. Alright. Oh, throwing up the sand trap. It yeah. must be responsible for all this. Come on, let's take it down together. I mean, it looks a little bit more natural it being like a moth, I guess. This has to be their leader. Hey, don't do that. No. What? Does that mean it's like the other gifting? Oh, I suppose so. Our attacks should be effective now. Oh! 
Okay, it's some. All right, this is another boss uh, where you gotta use the bow. Let me use uh, a not poopy bow for this too. Oh god, he's got the the zoom on. I forgot. Ah, why do you gotta do that? I'll read you. You're throwing. All right, stay still. Well, get get in the radius first. Dude, locking on with this thing is just like not helping. Oh god. I don't really want to try to get close to it because like... I guess I should try it anyway. Oh, I can't hit it in the face? Mm. It makes things a little bit more difficult. Locking onto this boss doesn't seem like it's the way though. What? Robbery? Um, uh, well, I'm not gonna be blocking, so I guess I could just throw this on. Doesn't seem like this is a boss where you can really block its attacks anyway. Oh! Bruh. Oh! Come on, fly in here. Wait. Also, let me eat. I'll eat the rest of this, I guess. Ah. Yeah, it's mass is just invulnerable. That's annoying. Hmm. Can I just like hit you with this? No, it's a little slow. Oh. Okay, <laughs> maybe I should use a one-handed one. Ah! Are you okay? Hell no, I'm not. I'm about to die. Okay. these bosses that like you just can't use melee on them i want to use melee man it's fun i don't want to just use the bow all the time ah annoying oh shit okay so i just figured out if you just like hit it with a bunch of elemental attacks it just like smokes it i guess damn all right well <laughs> that did a lot more damage than i thought i guess that shock fruit. Oh, really? You're just gonna fly off? Well, I mean, I I thought it was gonna be um like we fought the boss first and then we go to the dungeon, but it's like a it's like a multi-stage kind of thing here. Cool, cool. Oh god, of course. Alright. Hey, come here. Dude, Reacher just has like a mind of her own. Come here. Let me let me use your power. What? Why did that not work? Huh. Alright, well. Let's do this just to get you out of the damn way. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it should work. There we go. I feel like, uh, Toolin is just, like, far superior as, like, a, a NPC that, like, follows you around, right? Like, a supporting character, anyways. Please. 
like his power is easier to to activate like reachers is probably like you know really good for damage but like dude if this is what i'm going to deal with like having to get closest to these enemies just to activate this power that's going to be obnoxious like bro look at this she's actively avoiding me please okay and then this one i can just goodbye that's a little annoying hopefully um the clone version doesn't like wander off all that much like that but she doesn't even really attack much either which is also worrying like Tulin was like kind of contributing oh well Grok fiend gusser well looks like i'll need this ah i see Aha. Kind of gives me a uh, Arbiter's Grounds vibes. This uh, so far what this dungeon is. Did I not hit the fast travel? Is there not a fast travel to hit? Wait, oh, ho, ho, hold on, hold on. Let me go back. Maybe if I use a send up here. <laughs> Uh, I would I would greatly appreciate a fast travel back here. Huh. I mean the outside of this place looks really nice. Mm. I'm half leaning on just ending this video here, although it'd be a little bit shorter. And just doing this dungeon in the next one. I don't know. I think I might do that. But I do want to explore the outside of it here just a little bit. I guess before I do that, and just see what all is like going on with this. Cause like they put stuff up here, so there's obviously something else besides just ores on this temple on the outside of it. Right, gotta be. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe not. I guess we'll keep going up. Looks like the the fast travel point is just on the inside. Whoops. But I, I want to keep going up and just like look at the top of it and see if there there's got to be something at the at the very top of this. I just I just refuse to believe there's not, man. I mean, come on now. Ascend, please. There's like a weird delay between like when you can ascend and like when it first uh, like lets you, you know, when, when like it's first allowing you to do it and when you press the button sometimes. Very strange. Hey, that's the divine beast, ain't it? Maybe it's just any camel. Could be. Uh, oh, you can't fool me. I saw that. Aha -ha. stuff is up here. Indeed. Here we go. There's a chest there too. Oh, I'm glad I came up here then. Ooh, some rubies and stuff. Yeah, this is this is what we're talking about here. This is what I was looking towards. Okay. And then that one just has rock salt. <laughs> sure. Oh, wrong wrong thing. There we go. I like how we just have gust pillows on demand in this game. Pretty neat. Mirror times three. I really don't see a scenario where we use the mirror anywhere outside of here, though. Unless we get something in this dungeon that gives us like something akin to a mirror shield. I don't know. Oh, change my mind, Tulin. More or. Yeah, I don't know. 
Wow, that had a lot, a lot of gems. I, you know, maybe, maybe we find some sort of item or something that does give us the ability to create like lot beams on the, on command. That would be cool. Dude, we are getting like, dude, I'm making so much money off of this right now. Just like going around the outside of this temple. This is kind of insane. Hey, yo, dude. There one on this side. I mean, there's this stuff. A cannon. Okay. I haven't really come across any cannon zona devices yet. So that's neat. Hmm. Not really seeing anything else worth a damn up here, though. Ah, and I used all my stamina. Perfect. This is really cool though. This is more what I was expecting when I when I was thinking of uh, dungeons. So it's neat that they like went this route with it. Just made a gigantic like Aztec temple. Pretty neat. It'd be nice to know what this what this looked like in its uh, prime though. Like when it was just built with all the yellow paint and gold trimmings and stuff. I mean, you can still see the gold trimmings, but it would've been cool to see. Okay, I guess there's nothing else really I want to look at. Well, if that's the case, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here, guys. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. And if you really liked the video, I'd greatly appreciate it if you subscribed. I try my best to put every other day at 9 a.m. ET, so don't miss it, but um next video we're gonna jump right into the next dungeon here the lightning temple that's gonna be pretty cool i mean this thing is huge look at that it's like almost it's like one and a half times bigger than gerudo town dude this is what i was looking forward to so well we're gonna jump right into that here in the next one so that's all for me i'll see you guys in the next one and peace